Making a module. This video is going to follow the process of how I design and make a module, starting with an idea all the way to a finished unit. Part 1 will be the hardware prototyping. First thing you need is an idea, like making a module around an obsolete touchtone phone chip. Connections seem simple enough, but I don't have a keypad that can directly connect to the chip, so I'm going to go with this option in the datasheet and connect it to a microprocessor. Next is getting a schematic drawn implementing all the features that I want in the module. It looks something like this. Here's the sound chip, the processor with in-circuit programming header, connections to the keypad, here are the inputs for making sound, the CV input for tone control, gate input to turn the sound on and off, a record input so we can save a sequence like speed dial on an old phone, a play input to play back the recorded sequence, and a CV speed control to modulate the speed of the playback. Standard power connection with voltage regulation, an op amp to boost the output to standard Eurorack voltage levels. Now the next step is to mock up the faceplate and build the circuit on a breadboard to make sure it works. So we go over to a CAD program, in this case Library CAD, draw a prototype to cut it out of Delrin on a laser cutter. Delrin is the least stinky plastic to cut on a laser cutter. Once that's done, all the panel mount parts need to be attached. First, some pins need to be soldered to the keypad. The keypad fits great. The speed potentiometer, not so much. However, a board mounted pot will be used in the real module. These switches are not good. Tactile switches are the way to go in production units. Now with all the parts mounted to the face plate, the plate can be mounted to a wooden test jig. A module that holds an in-circuit programmer will be mounted next to it. All the wires that go between the face plate and the breadboard are now soldered into place. Now for the breadboarding. I start by adding all the chips I need to the breadboard and just attaching wires and seeing how it goes. Usually I have to move some components around to make room and give space for off-board connections. Once I get to a certain point, neatness goes out the window and I just add jumpers and get it done. After all, this is only a temporary proof of concept. Here's the completed breadboard. In the next part we'll discuss the software making the module work, demoing the completed prototype. <laughs> 